Okay, so here we are to the second to last episode of Futsal Boys. And I kind of expected what they were going to do. Show a flashback about the relationship between Sasaki and Nagato. Uh, as we know from the previous episode, episode 10, um, they used to work together on the same futsal team, same soccer team back in middle school. Come to find out that uh their relationship kind of turned sour not because of like they had an argument but think of along the lines of like i would have to compare it think of along the lines like something like her from Obaske with kuriko and aomine where in this case sasaki will be in aomine's place where he continues to got better but the biggest difference would have been that like with nagato he saw sasaki getting better and he felt like he was he couldn't he couldn't get better he couldn't he he was stuck and he felt like he was only dragging sasaki behind so that's why he quit their soccer team back in middle school and then sasaki is you know continuously having this dilemma because the one person who he was able to pass to basically quit on him walked out on him and now he brings that to his new team in high school with haru who reminds him consistently of nagato now personally for me i would have preferred it if they did this in the middle of the season instead of the last because nothing has changed they're facing against Albert now. We had that flashback in the beginning of the episode, but it doesn't change anything about Sasaki's character. It doesn't change what's currently happening. He's only able to uh, pass to all his other teammates except for Haru. He doesn't give him no explanation. Say all he said is, "I'm not going to pass it to you." End of story. And he commits to that to the end of the episode. And like I said. When we thought we had um, development, character development of him a few episodes back from like episode seven, we just literally backtracked. And we're, we're practically at the last episode come next week. And I think I mentioned in the review last week that they may try to pull something out of thin air. And that's the case. I don't know if it's like they're waiting for the mobile game to explore more like if it's going to be something similar to Disney's Twisted Wonderland where it there is parts where you can play but it is also more story mode but if that's the case that is kind of bad um, bad uh, writing because while everybody else, else was getting development Sasuke barely got any and it's been the same repeating story since episode one so it's very hard for a viewer like myself and probably you guys to really sympathize with Sasaki when he doesn't, you don't see that change in his character, in his motives. He doesn't try to get along with people or try to open up little by little. If this was, if this flashback that happened in the beginning of the episode happened, say even the fifth or sixth episode, fine. But it happened at the last stretch you know so um they're facing against Aldebert and so far it was only the first half of the match um Okazan came to view and they're seeing how they're playing they assume that Aldebert is still no match for them and right now we have where Kyo is leading two is leading by three to one they already got like one more score before the first half has ended and that was due to the shot by Sasaki and that's when he ended the episode saying that like i don't want to go through what i went through with nagato even if you have improved and i still won't pass to you just reasserting what he stated previous episode ago and previous weeks ago so it's just at this point um like i said we we expected improvement on his part and we were about to get that and I, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed because I expected more from Sasuke, Sasuke's character. And I don't know if they're going to wait till the mobile game to explore more. And this is just more like 
condense everything into 12 episodes just to get a feel for it and then you move on to the game but you know I don't know I, I was expecting something and the flashback didn't help to fix anything so we can only hope for what's going to happen in the final episode I do have a feeling they're going to make it miraculously Haru is just like no we need to work together we're on the same team i don't know what's your deal with nagato but i'm not him and miraculously sasuke is going to pass it somehow one way or another i do have a feeling they are going to be aldebar by next week and then because now it's like one step before they hit the national so this is the semi-final so next week i am 100 percent sure it's going to be nationals and then they're going to end off where they're about to face Okazan and that's the end of the season but yeah that's just my predictions I could be wrong they can twist some stuff around by next week's episode and completely um blow my mind or I don't know but um yeah not much has changed again with Sasaki's character uh the flashback came a little too late a little too late and we can just only hope for the best come the finale next week so guys do tell me in the comment section below i know this this um review was very short but there wasn't really much other than okay probably some parts like um aldebert with uh kusanagi i, for, I forgot his name um when he went on the u8 team with our captain sukiyoka come to find out that like he's very steadfast he believes in his team but he also believes more so in kind of individual skill player and I believe that's going to bite them in the butt for Albert's team because they're so used to being kind of perfect and having like a singular structure that they can't see outside of that box so I feel like that's going to be their biggest downfall for this match between them and Kyo and hence why I have a feeling they're going to lose. So again guys do tell me in the comment section below on how you felt about this week's episode of Futsal Boys episode 11. What do you think is going to happen for the finale episode? How do you feel about Sasaki's overall character for the entire season? The links are in the description box so you guys can go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends and I will see you guys later. Bye!